Okay, so previously we considered voltage and current amplifiers. So in this video, I am going to go to transconductance amplifiers and trans resistance amplifiers in brief, right? So again, so this is this is so much similar to previous uh, two, right? So only difference is this feedback uh, topology, right? So in a transconductance amplifier, we give a voltage as an input and we take a current as our output. So, so since we are getting current as the output, this sampling is done in series. So that's why the series is here <coughs> and the voltage generated proportional to this feedback as the current, so which is the feedback voltage will be added in series so that's why so series mixing so it is series series so is, this is the top conductor and this is the equivalent closed loop system so again let's try to calculate this trying to derive the expressions for closed loop gain input resistance and output resistance of this closed loop system right so let's start by let's start with the closed loop gain. So closed loop gain is in <coughs> transconductance amplifier is I out divided by V S. Right. So this is the closed loop gain. So if we take I out uh, using this I can write I out as uh, A V I. Right? So it is A V I <coughs> divided by V S is the voltage across this. So V S is actually equal to this voltage, which is V I plus this voltage, which is beta. I out so I can write this as VI plus beta I out <coughs> so I out is again AVI so if I substitute that I get AVI over VI plus beta a B I. So again, simply when I cancel out B I, I'll get the closed loop expression as A over one plus A B. So this is that negative feedback. Characteristic uh, cost of gain. Oh. Okay, so let's try to calculate the input resistance. So if we take the take the open loop system and consider that this current to be I I, our input resistance R I is given as V I over I I. Right, so if we take V I, uh, sorry, if we take the closed loop system, the input resistance will be V S divided by the current going in I I. So this, these two currents are the same, right? Okay, these two currents are the same. So Vs as you know is equal to Vi plus the feedback voltage. So as you can see that uh, using this previous equation we got that as Vi times 1 plus A beta and here we have I I so VI over II, so this two are same. So 
V I O I I is actually R N. So cross looping to get this test is open looping to resistance times 1 plus a beta so the input resistance has increased in the transconductor amplifier so it is simply due to this series mixing of voltage right. so similarly uh, we can try to calculate the output resistance but uh, you know when we are calculating the output resistance we have to make some changes right so what do we need to do is we need to make this vs0 this is the input and also we have to add a source here right? so we need to add a current source because we are taking a current as our output so i'm going to inject a current of ix here and the voltage across this source will be Vx. So our output resistance, cross loop output resistance will be given by Vx divided by Ix. So if I derive an expression for Ix here yeah, actually uh, so I can write Ix as the sum of current through this and this right so here actually this current is now Ix therefore this is also Ix okay so I think you remember and here this current will be Vx over R out And this current will be AVI. And if we write Kirchhoff's voltage load in this loop like this, you can see that since this voltage is zero, we get VI plus beta IX equal to zero. So therefore V i is equal to minus beta i x. So if I substitute that it will be V x divided by V x or R naught. And here it will be minus a beta i x right so yeah this is minus a beta i x so this is the expression for this expression what i got for i x right so let me something in here and I'm sorry. okay so this expression is the expression I got for ix right so ix is equal to vx over r naught minus a beta i x so if i take i x to one side and take i x out this will be i x times 1 plus a beta equal to v x over r naught so therefore the output resistance Vx over Ix is given by uh, R naught times 1 plus A beta. So here 
output resistance has also increased due to this series mixing. Okay. So that's it about transconductance amplifiers. Okay, now the final amplifier uh, feedback topology is shunt shunt topology. So we are discussing about the trans resistance amplifier. So we are leaving the current as the input and we are taking a voltage as our output and so this voltage is sampled in parallel so that is why this shunt and the feedback current is also mixed in parallel so that is this shunt so this is a shunt shunt configuration and this is the uh, equivalent closed loop system right so let's first of all let's find out uh, AF for the closed loop gain so closed loop gain is actually given by the output voltage divided by the input current right? IS or the source current so output voltage is actually since this is open circuit output voltage will be a times the input current a i i and if you take the source current using Kirchhoff's current law to this node source current will be equal to i i plus this i f Right, so current to this is IF, which is the feedback current, so which is equal to beta times V0. So we know that V0 is actually A times II. So if I substitute it here, I get our usual expression F equal to. Uh, a or 1 plus a beta right so this is the closed loop k then the input resistance right so here the open loop input resistance is voltage vi divided by the current ii So let's move on to the closed loop one. So closed loop input resistance will be given a similar way, but uh, this VI divided by this current. So this current is actually IS, right? So here this II is actually IS, right? So this is this and this are not equal, right? So I think we got an expression here for IS in terms of II, right? So what we got was so instead of this V0, we substituted A times II. So what we got is II times 1 plus A bit. And this is V I over I I which is R I. So now we have our input resistance. Which is R I cross loop input resistance divided by 1 plus A beta. So input resistance has reduced by a factor of 1 plus A beta due to this shunt mixing. Right? okay so now let's calculate the output resistance right mm -hmm. so let me this, this, this so when we are calculating the output resistance again as usual we have to add a source here right so i'm going to plug in a voltage source because our output is a voltage so this voltage is vx and it will give a current of ix through this output and also we need to make that 
this is zero source zero okay so then let's try to find r out close loop so r o f which is given by v x divided by i x right so if we we can write an expression for vx using this so if we write curge of voltage row low across this loop i can write vx is equal to ix r not plus a i i this voltage right this voltage is ix r not this one is a i i so since this current is zero we can write kvl and this oh, sorry kcl curve of current law so i get zero equal to i i plus this current so this current is beta v naught and actually now v naught is equal to vx because of this source so this is beta vx so this is similar fashion to the previous case right so if i isolate this so i will get i i equals minus beta vx so i'm going to substitute it here so i get vx equal to ix r out minus a beta bx so I'll, uh, if i take it take all vx turn this side and take vx out so i get uh, vx times 1 plus a beta equal to ix r naught so here what I'll get R O F which is V X over I X. So I can okay, find from this expression it is R out divided by one plus A B. So output resistance here is reduced by a factor of one plus A beta due to this parallel sample. Right. So that's all about trans resistance amplifiers. Thank you.